world and welcome to Miss Pramina's channel. Well, today I would like to make a little bit of a different video. I'm going to take you on a tour. Not that far away, just to my family daycare. But before we go and do all the touring, please subscribe to my channel. Let's go. As you walk in, we come to the front yard. It is not big, but it's very, very functional. So we've got a four-seater pram that we use almost daily. This is just a simple IKEA um, aprons. We use that port for our gardening, but there are no plants in there at the moment because we're going into autumn. We've got, we've got another port where we keep our balls. So we love playing balls in here. This is our big, big black wall it's of the same place. As you can see, we don't have a lot of equipment over here. The simple reason is. I like to mix and match everything and we do have a lot of things here so we've got the bean which children love to play, we've got a sand pit and we've got a pram. So this is a very important area. As you can see we've got the evacuation bag and this is also the area when children come in they the bags just down here which is easy to access for children and for me as well during the day so this is the area where parents do signing some documentation some documentation over here so sunscreen as usual well that's for me um well, then we have Motor repellent, absolutely necessary. The outdoor first aid kit. I've got so many first aid kits, it's not funny. So we've got a box for the soil clothes. So here we go, this is the entry into the play area. As you can see, we don't have any children today. So it's all very quiet and tidy as you walk in we've got a fence so the children do not go upstairs as this is not a part of family daycare the children are only allowed down here so we've got very very big dress up station <laughs> Then we have a wonderful IKEA kitchen. Children absolutely love it. It's packed with uh, with the toys that relate to the kitchen. Then we've got a little bed. Obviously, we have a table. We, ha we actually have two, but at the moment we're just using one. I like to mix and match, so I bring a lot of things to the daycare, and I take some things out monthly, so children don't actually get bored. So this is our resting and also reading corner. Um, this is just a part of the books that I don't want for children to sit down and just have a look uh, if they're interested. But also we have uh, another, um, we also have a bookshelf that our children can access as well. So this is another notice board. For parents to have a look at. Um, normally they look at this board when they come in the first. So this is the changing table. As I mentioned before, all, all of the nappies and everything they're gonna have to be up. So I've got this beautiful shelf up there with all of the nappies and 
pretty much everything that I need. I also have a bin that goes up as well because I don't like having um, bins down the bottom. And as you can see, it's not a nappy bin. The simple reason is I only use it for one set of nappy, nappies. So um, every time I change the nappy, pretty much just take it right to the, um, to the bin. So it's clean and always fresh. Also, we do have a display of the changing a nappy without spreading germs and the safe sleeve for infants displayed as well. So just to remind myself or anybody else is here um, how to avoid seeds and how to prevent the spreading germs. So on the other wall, we've got, oh my God, we've got the toys. <laughs> We've got loads of toys in here and down the bottom we've got hidden toys as well so children get super excited when we pull those out. So here you can see it's all different. This is the shelf that I was talking about with different books and also I have another amazing, <laughs> amazing shelf um, upstairs uh, which allows me to bring more books down here and change them as well and we go to the library we'll bring some books as well so this is uh, just a simple arts and crafts very very simple because I've got another big shelf with the arts and crafts station so this is our fire blankets and first aid kit as I said before I have a lot of first aid kits so this is the second one for indoor uh, we've got the fire extinguisher here but I've got another one in the kitchen directly next to the fire source. So going up, we have two steps to go up, which are very useful. Children absolutely love to use it, and it, it creates the div, like as a div, it works as a divider between play area, sleeping area. So this is our sleeping area. As you can see, we've got two cots for the babies and we've got two junior beds all of them are bought from Ikea and they're absolutely amazing love it uh, this is my station this is the hat that I made a few days ago uh, check out the video if you haven't already checked so it's sitting away and sitting and waiting for the Easter hat parade so this is our toilet where all the children are learning how to use the toilet and the washing facility. Make sure when you're setting up your daycare or family daycare you use those prints as a display for children what to do and how to actually wash their hands because normally it's just a dip and run. <laughs> Alright so this is we're going towards our kitchen so this is the kitchen, this is um, the chairs that we use, they're just simple key chairs, as you can see I use a lot of IKEA stuff. Um, this is the kitchen, kitchen is super simple, the reason I have that gate here and it's, you can remove it, which I do when I don't have any children, but that basically stops children going inside the kitchen, so I don't actually have to put the lockers on every single door or drawer or anywhere so that's totally stops the kids to go inside and I have a, a different one but with a similar approach um, on the other side so that's that's the gate I will take you inside a little bit so this is my drawer for the family daycare so I've got all the cups well that shouldn't be here thanks kids so we've got all the cups, um, everything, most of the stuff anyway, is from IKEA. So that's that. So also we have that drawer that we use, oh, that we use just for the family and I cannot recommend high enough because you can actually lock that cabinet and children cannot access, you can put anything that your household needs 
and it's brilliant. I love it. So that's it. That's, so that's my family daycare. I found it very functional. Please comment below if you have any more questions about the family daycare or setting up the family daycare. I'm happy to answer. Um, also, don't forget to check out my website at provey.com.au. Thank you. Bye. See you next time.